right, this one's going to be called You Have No Friends and Most Likely It's Your Own Fault. I don't normally make blogs, but I'm going to start because why not? So, I have a little proof to back up my claim about these people that you see all the time that say, I'm so lonely, I wish I had more friends, all these people but no one wants to be my friend. All these people have one fatal flaw. And these people are, they don't realize their surroundings or their concept of friendship is flawed in the first place. So, as I walk around my neighborhood here, I'm going to try to get this explained in under a few minutes. And I'm going to back it up with a story. So I'm hanging out with some friends the other day. And... It was a typical scenario, you know, you're hanging out with your group of friends, and one of your friends in the group brings their own friends, and these people you don't know. And in this case, it was a guy and a girl. So, this guy and a the girl, they were making zero effort to try to socialize and make themselves part of the group. The girl was on her phone the whole time. The guy was just, he was on his phone also, but he was, seemed to be obsessed with the menu. And whenever anyone would ask him anything, he would give like one word answers and not you know reciprocate and not try to at least turn the question the same exact question back on the person who asked and at the end of the day these people became ghosts everyone started realizing that these people were boring these people were you know either not interested in being part of it or not even or had some type of social disorder i don't know but the end of the day is everyone kind of pretended they weren't even there they kind of melted in to the booth that they were sitting in. So, with that being said, as the night went on, and you know everyone forgot about them, like I said, I tried to at least bring the girl in to the group, and I say, you know, what are you into? You know, what's up? You know, how do you know so and so? What do you do for a living? Those type of normal questions. And the girl says something very interesting. She says, you know, I, after college, you know, all my friends kind of went their own way, and I wish I had a bigger group and more people to socialize with, like I see a lot of my other friends doing. And I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm like, wait a minute, there's, there's a couple of things wrong with this statement. Number one, if you wish you had a bigger group, you're in a group of people right now that you don't know, including other women, that you are refusing or not willing to participate in, or even making an attempt to get to know. And number two, if you see people that are your friends doing things with other people that you wish you could be part of, why are they your friends? And why aren't you along with them? And it comes down to a very few things that I think are not paid attention to with these people. And I think the concept of friendship to these people is not really friendship. I think for a lot of people, friendship is simply this. What are my like-minded interests? If you have the similar interests, then they're considered friends. Those are called activity partners. If you basing a friendship on the fact that, let's say, you both like to go hiking, you both like rock climbing, that's not friendship. That's an activity partner. A friend is somebody that you have to care about. You care about their well-being. You care about the actions that they do. You want to make sure they're doing the best thing possible in their life. A friendship is that. A friendship is not, well, I like to skateboard, and that means we're friends because we're both skateboarding. That's an activity partner. And if you have to base your friendship on having like-minded interests, no wonder you don't have any friends. Because the chances that you're going to find people in a group that are doing the exact same things that you do, does not equate. It's not probable. And also, if you're in a group of people and you're afraid or you're not willing to even make any effort to ask or find out what these people are about, then it's no wonder you don't have any friends because like everything in life, friendship takes effort. And if you're not willing to put the effort in, then guess what? You're not going to have any friends. And it's as simple as that. You don't have any friends, it's most likely your fault.